your seats. Okay. We're going to do calculus today. Calculus one, you know that it's the class. We're going to be doing de derivatives. Okay, we will be doing derivatives today. Now, what is a derivative? A derivative is the slope of the tangent line at a certain point along the curve. Okay? It is also the instantaneous rate of change. So this is a parabola, right? You want a parabola? Yeah. Okay, so this is the tangent line to this graph at this point. It's approximately, let's see, 1, 2, 3, x equals 4. Okay, the tangent line is a tangent line because it only touches in about one point right near in the vicinity of that point. Okay, so the derivative tells us the slope of this tangent line, which we can see is about negative 1. Okay. So this has roots at 0 and x equals 6, so it is y equals negative x squared plus 6x. So we are going to find the derivative the long way. We can say that the derivative is notated as f prime of x. See the prime, that's how we know it's the derivative. Okay, so now let's draw another quick sketch of our graph. We have at x equals 4 we have our point that we were looking at, then we've got another one, two, three, yeah, four, five, six, x equals six, let's look at that. You can see the, sl the line between those two points, and this slope does not look like much, but it does not look much like that slope. So let's try a point like x equals five. Let's see, huh, it still does not look like that, but it looks closer. Now let's try something even closer. We can see the closer we get there, the closer it is to that. So what do we know about slope? We know that the slope is the change in y divided by the change in x. Okay, so what did we do here when we tried getting it closer? We made the change in x smaller. So we're going to call that change in x something like h. So here we had x equals 6, and so that's 4 plus h. That's h is our change in x, and in this case h is 2. But we want h to be small, okay? And then our change in y would be f of x plus h minus f of x, because we have our f of x here, and then our f of x plus h, and so that's the change in y. So now, what we are going to be looking for when we're trying to find the derivative is the limit as h approaches zero, and that is going to be our derivative. Hey baby, I wish I was your derivative, so I could not take you to this career. Okay, so there is a trick to take the derivative of this. All you have to do is drop the power down and decrease it by one. You drop it power down to be the coefficient. So here you drop the power down and decrease it by one. Drop that power down and take it away by one. By one. Drop that power down and take it away by one. By one. Drop that power down and take it away by one. By one. Drop that power down and take it away by one. By one. We so sophisticated, more derivatated. We're using fancy lines to wash away our functions changing. Say this is our position. We straight.